Betsy Malloy. The first building at Mission San Francisco was a Thule, Reed, arbor built by the Spanish soldiers. When the ship San Carlos arrived with supplies in August, construction on more permanent buildings began the first buildings were completed by September 1st, including a small chapel made of wood plastered with mud, with a Thule reed roof. These buildings were about one-tenth of a mile from the present location. From 1776 to 1788, four churches were built. Each one was torn down because it stood on good soil for farming and good farmland was scarce. By 1781, the mission settled at its current location, and a wing of the quadrangle was finished. The current building at Mission San Francisco was started in 1785 and completed in 1791. The flexible structure, with redwood logs fastened together by rawhide strips and wooden pegs, was so sturdy that it survived the earthquakes of 1906 and 1989. The building is 114 feet long and 22 feet wide, with four-foot-thick adobe walls. Historical records say it took 36,000 adobe bricks to build it. Inside the chapel, the current tile floor was originally dirt, and there were no seats, but otherwise little has changed since 1791. The decoration on the ceiling is repainted in the original design. The walls were originally painted with designs, too, but they were painted over in the 1950s. On the right wall is a large 19th century canvas painting that was once moved to the front of the church every year during Easter week. Reardas came from San Blas, Mexico in 1796. The two side altars, also made in Mexico, were brought to the mission in 1810. The mission's three bells were cast in Mexico in the 1790s in honor Saints Joseph, Francis, and Martin. The fonts set into the back walls are plates imported from China by way of the Philippines. There are four marked burial places inside the chapel walls. William Lydsdorf, an early Afro-American businessman, the Noe family, Lt. Joaquin Moraga, the leader of the founding expedition, and Richard Carroll, the first pastor after San Francisco became an archdiocese. After the mission survived the 1906 earthquake, Steel was added to the wooden trusses to strengthen them. The historic structure faced its biggest challenge in the late 1990s when wood-eating beetles threatened to destroy it bite by bite. However, through extensive efforts by the mission staff and scientists, the beetles were killed, and the mission was saved. Today, Mission San Francisco is the oldest intact building in the city of San Francisco.